in my teaching career, a lot of students came to me and asked me about how to improve their standing balancing asanas. Even as a practitioner myself, I always find it difficult to do standing balancing asanas in compared to any other movement. If it's the arm balance, if it's the spinal movement, one thing that always stuck out for me is the standing balancing asanas. But in today's videos, we will be breaking down all the scale down movements and all the scale up movement to get better and to get perfect with your standing balancing asanas. Namaste and welcome everyone to Shwasa.com. My name is Gaurav Chauhan. Let's get started. Now to start with, let's quickly come up to the center of the mat. Now the legs can be hip width apart, hands on the waist. Start by lengthening your spine. Now from, from here, try to breathe in deep. And when you exhale, you start folding your upper body forward and trying to keep your knees softly bent. Remember to take it easy initially. Only when you're comfortable, you can always start to progress. Now once you're in a forward fold, you slowly release the arms and place the fingertip on the mat right in front of your toes. Try to lengthen your spine here. Now we'll go slow from here in order to progress into the half moon pose or the half moon balancing pose. All you have to do is you have to softly shift the weight on the right leg and start lifting your left leg up in the air. Try to maintain that back leg in line with your hip. Now when you feel comfortable, you start releasing the left hand and place it on your waist. Now in order to progress, you have to slowly start turning your chest and the hip to the side, keeping your back leg parallel. If comfortable, release the other arm up towards the ceiling. Keep your gaze on the mat and try to breathe with your core engaged correctly. If you feel comfortable, try to straighten your right leg and when you feel the balance is okay and you are able to control the movement, stay here for at least 5 to 10 breaths. Breathing in deep and exhale. Now in order to come back, you first place the palm back to your waist, turn your hip down, slowly bring your left feet with your right, placing the fingertip down on the mat. Bend your knees, palms on your waist, and you slowly come up. And you can relax. Now, a few things we have to understand whenever you're doing standing balancing asanas. One of the things is the placement. The placement plays a major role, right? Now, if you notice, the placement between the palm and the toe was equally distant as the placement between my hip and the shoulder. So if you try to place your palm too close to the body, you may feel that the body is squeezing and you will find it difficult to balance. Same thing happens if you extend your arm too much and you will not be able to find the correct ground and you may lose your balance. So these are the things that you need to address while you're doing the practice. Also, if this was a challenge for you, I have something special. We can scale it down as well with the help of a little bit of props. Let me take you through how we do it with the props. I'm going to use a block here and if you don't have a block, do not worry. It can be a small box, even your water bottle will work just fine. All right, so we're going to use this block to make it a little easier. Same thing, you place the block in the front, make sure it's not too far from you, it's also not too close. As you feel okay, place it nicely the way you want. Now we'll do the same way, you go into a forward fold and gently place the palm on top of the block. All right, now you can adjust that later as well. Now the left hand goes same as we did last time on the waist. Shift the weight on the right leg and slowly turn the hip completely to the side. Extend the arm up. Keep looking down or keep looking to the side wall. Maintain that balance. Hold it here. For long and slow breathing. Remember to turn your hip sideways completely. Only when you're comfortable, you bring your hand down to your waist. Turn your hip. Place. And now we can release the block. For those, this movement was very easy and you were able to do it without any discomfort. Let's try to scale it up as well. Now for the scale up version, we are not doing too much of changes. Firstly, we'll remove the block. That's very important. Now, 
the gaze will play a major role. If you're looking down, it's easier to balance, but when you look up, it's completely different. So let's try to challenge the practice and challenge yourself a little bit more by slowly placing the fingertip as we did for the first two attempt on the floor. You shift the back leg up, maintain that back leg in line your hip and slowly start turning your hip to the side. Only when you feel confident, extend the arm up and start looking up. Keeping your core engaged. Now remember, in order to come back, you have to slowly bring your hand back to the waist. And you may feel a little shaky, that's totally fine. Slowly, you bring your feet together, place the palms or the fingertip on the mat, bend your knees softly, hands on the waist, and you slowly come back up, release and relax. Now this is the scale up and the scale down version of doing the half moon balancing pose. You can continue to practice and you can continue to progress. Few things we have to address. The main part will be the breathing. If you're breathing a little heavy, or if you're trying to fit yourself into a 10 count of what your trainers are giving you, you will lose your balance. You have to relax yourself and you have to let go. Second will be the gaze. So if you see yourself looking around, you may be distracted and you may find yourself losing your balance again and again. So try to be more focused on your breath. See how you breathe when you're in the practice. Try to breathe slow and try to keep a count on it. I hope you have learned something new today and I would love to see you trying these new tips into your daily practice. And for more videos like this, please join us on shwasa.com and I would love to hear it from you guys as well, like what you liked about this practice and also in future, what you like to practice with us next. I'm looking forward to see you for the next video, for the next session. Till then, take care and Namaste.